Hello, Julie here and welcome to my channel Plans in the Making. Today I'm going to be making a Christmas page for my planner. I don't have a Christmas planner, I just have a section in my planner for Christmas pages that I make. I make myself a little cover each year using some wrapping paper, so this one I've made and I just put my special pages behind it. In the past I've made Christmas pages about getting ready for Christmas with all the things that need to be done and keeping a track of the dates and that's quite interesting to look back on because I can see when I got my tree up and when I posted my cards and how late I left it. So I do that every year. There's 2020. So last year I can see that I didn't get my tree up till the 17th of December so I need to beat that this year. I also make pages like, this is a holiday playlist, my top 10 favorite Christmas songs. I did that last year. And I keep a track of the cards that I post to people. And I obviously made a spare one of these, but this is a gift page just to keep a record of gifts that are sent. So today I'm going to work on a Christmas tracker page, just tracking all the things that I need to get done and see if I can beat my dates from last year. So let's clear some space and begin. The first thing I did was to look through my filler paper to find something that I could use. I found this rather pretty Miss Maker paper that I bought and have hoarded for a long time. I know it says make do at the top, but it does have silver foil that looks like snow and I could turn it over to the other side and use this side or I could cover up the title with something else. So you can always adapt the things that you buy from Happy Planner. The sticker books I'm planning to use are the two old Christmas sticker books from Happy Planner. This was the first one Christmas and then they did Christmas Joy the year after. And these have some useful boxes in that I thought I could use. The first thing I need to do is decide if I can find something to cover up the title or whether I need to turn over and use the other side of the page. So I know in the first Christmas book they do have some silver boxes I think yes whereas I think the other one has gold so I might be able to cover it up with one of these so I'm going to try and see if there's one that will fit maybe a scalloped one here not sure if it's going to cover up yeah, it covers up the writing, I think. And that's perfect. My next idea was to use the boxes in this book because they have the checklist already on them. And then for the things that there is only one thing to do, I thought I could cut the checklist off and just make them into smaller boxes. And I also had the idea of perhaps as they were rectangles to make them look like presents. So we'll see if that's something I do. I've taken out these boxes and now I'm just going to cut down the ones that need to be a little bit smaller. Now I'm going to stick the boxes on. So turn the paper around. Try and get it in the middle. straight and then I don't think I have them all the same height just vary it a little bit this one can just go underneath One more big one in the middle here. Leave some room at the bottom. I might want to do a little scene or add some decoration with the snow. Two more. I think I'll put them This one's a bit shorter. I'm 
going to take my jelly roll pen and just write the titles at the top of the boxes. So we're going to have decorate here. And shopping here. Then we'll have cards. Gifts. Light. I'm going to add some bows at the top of the boxes to make them look like presents. I'm using Crayola Super Tips to do this. And I'm thinking about going around the outside with the pens. Not sure if I'm going to regret that decision, but I'm going to give it a go. So that's what it looks like. I did go around with pens and then I decided that it needed some more definition. So then I took a black Sig Micron pen and went around the outside as well. So they stand out a little bit more on the page. I've added my list of things that uh, need to be done. Now all that's left is to add a few stickers as decoration, maybe down the bottom and around the sides. I think as we've only got a small area, I'll use my Merry and Bright tiny sticker pad. And I've got these trees and snowmen, so I thought they would fit in with the wintry scene. I hope your Christmas preparations are going well. Obviously here in England we didn't have much for Christmas last year because we were in lockdown. We're not in lockdown this year. Unfortunately, we do have the new variant at the moment. So there's lots of talk about what might be going to happen. Won't be able to see my brother this year again for the second year. So that's a shame. So it's going to be very low key Christmas once again, but let's hope 2022 brings better things. Last Christmas tree. Just feel like it needs something maybe at the top. So I have a little look through just to see what else I can find. Quite like these um, cups here, I might put a few of those on. And perhaps a couple of candy canes. And I think that's done. So it doesn't take long to make a special page for your planner. If you haven't made one before, do give it a try. If there's anything you'd like to see me show on my channel, do let me know in the comments. I try to post videos at least twice a week. One of them is usually my plan with me video. I hope you've enjoyed watching. Have a good week and I'll see you next time.